Well, with the hot and dry weather still ripe for wildfires and thousands of acres already burning in Central Texas, we are all urged to take precautions. That includes events like the yearly International Barbecue Cook-Off in Taylor. KXN's Sarah Alsha explains what steps organizers are taking to make sure the fire stays in the pits. We have a brisket that just came off of the pit. 78 teams came to Murphy Park in Taylor competing in the International Barbecue Cook-Off. But this year, there were a few extra ingredients on the menu. You had the water underneath the fire pits. Fire extinguishers, jugs of water, and the Taylor Fire Department. Those were just a few fire precautions taken here. For sure, when you got fire going and all the dry grass and trees and everything and the wind, you want to make sure that you've got precautions. Because of the fire danger this year, the Taylor Fire Department was on scene to check fire pits as they exit the area. Organizers say in the more than four decades they've had this event, this is the first time they've had to do that. We understand that this is a unique situation. No pit or smoker will leave until it's been emptied and inspected and made sure there's no embers that will leave that as they go home. Some other rules in place were each pit had to be monitored by at least one person and they need water to douse in the area around their generator and pits. They make sure that all of the hot ashes are dispensed the right way and that you don't drive out of here and drop it out while you're driving out and cause a fire along the way. Catherine Paulson said she and her family are grateful for the fire prevention plan because it helped keep the cook-off tradition safe. It's really about family and the small town atmosphere and camaraderie and everybody helping everybody else out and then of course good barbecue. Cook-off participant Edward Kanopic says the heat was concerning but he was encouraged by the fire measures in place. Kanopic says he's leaving with both a full heart and stomach. Oh at least a pound of brisket it was a lot I don't need any more. Sarah Alshah KXAN News. Now, yesterday, the first day of the cook-off, organizers even had thermal drones surveying the area to track any heat sources. They say the only scenario where they would have canceled was if there were high winds in the area. Well, going in depth now, over 3,100 acres have burned in Central Texas wildfires this year. A total of 36 fires have burned 3,173 acres in 15 counties across Central Texas. Statewide, 655 fires have burned throughout the year, and and those have burned over 84,000 acres. If you want to keep up with the fires burning in our area, we have an interactive map for you to check out. That's at KXAN.com.